Hello, my name is Dr. Samurai. I'm one of the doctors. Um, can I just confirm your name and age, please? Yeah, it's Melissa, uh, Melissa Jones, and I'm 57. Uh, hi, Melissa. Can I call you Melissa? Is that all right? Yeah, of course oh, you great. can. It's my name, yeah. Great. So can you tell me what's brought you into hospital today? Well, it's my chest, really. Okay. Um, just got really bad chest pain. Right, okay. And can you tell me a bit more about that? When did it start oh, and, right. and yeah. how long has been going on for? Um, well, it started last night, actually. Mm. It was uh, after I'd had my tea. Mm. Um, it, it wasn't too bad. Mm. I was just aware of it. it. But it was then this morning, I was pottering about in the garden, mm. and then I got this really sharp pain, mm. and that made me think, oh my God, you know, I'm, I'm going to... Gonna have to ring the doctor, right. um, okay. and then like I spoke to the doctor, and uh, she said, well, "I think you need to get into into hospital." Yeah, I agree. I think that's definitely the right yeah. thing to do. So it's really good that you've come to hospital yeah. to, yeah. to yeah. have some more tests. Yeah. Um, so can you just tell me where the pain is exactly, if that's all right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's right in the middle. Okay, right in the middle, is yeah. it? Okay, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, and you said that it's, um, it started last night, yeah. is that right? Yeah, okay. yeah. And uh, how would you describe the pain? It's like a really sharp pain. Mm, I see, yeah. okay. And yeah. does it move anywhere? No, no, no. Oh, okay. And um, does anything make it better or worse at all? Um, well, I'm trying not to move. I see. Because I'm finding if I move, especially if I twist, mm. Then it's really, really painful. But also, it's like I'm trying not to like breathe too deeply as well. Because if I if I take a deep breath, mm. then then that's agony. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's more painful when you breathe in and out. Yeah, so definitely. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Um, have you tried any painkillers for the pain? Well, I did try some ibuprofen, mm. and that that helped a little bit. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, and how bad would you say the pain is out of ten? Um. What now? Or? Mm, uh, now, yeah. Um, I'd say it's probably about six or seven. I see. Okay. Yeah. And when it was at its worst? Oh crikey! Mm, nine or ten. It was really bad. That's why I got so worried. I yeah. See. Okay. Um, and and is it painful when you press down onto your chest? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's painful. Is yeah, it? yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and have you noticed anything else apart from the chest pain? Um, no, it's just the chest. Okay, Yeah. right. Um, if you don't mind me asking, I'd just like to ask you a few questions about other things that you might have experienced. Um, yeah, of course. Have you had yeah. any shortness of breath at all? No, I wouldn't say shortness of breath. Mm. It's more that I'm trying not to breathe I see. deeply, if you know what I mean. So mm. I know my breathing is quite short, but mm. that's deliberate. Okay. Um, and have you had any cough at all? No. No, okay. I mean, I think I coughed once, but that's just because I had a little tickle. I see, I understand. Yeah. Um, and have you had any fevers at all? No, no, no. No? No. Okay. Um, and have you noticed your heart beating quite quickly or quite rapidly? No. No, or feeling it in your chest at all? No. no. Okay, right. Um, and have you noticed any problems with uh, pain in your tummy at all? No, no. No? No. Um, and no problems with your bowels, your diarrhea, no. or constipation, no. anything like that? Um, and no weakness in your arms or legs? No, okay. no. Um, and no changes to your vision at all or any headache? No, that's all fine. Okay, yeah. right. And have you had any fevers at all? No, no, no. And any night sweats? No, no. no. Uh, and any weight loss at all recently? No, no, no. Okay, right. Just in terms of your background, could you tell yeah. me if you have any medical problems that you see your doctor for? Um, well, it's just, I, I mean, I do get a bit of heartburn. Okay. Um, but then also, I'd, you know, I do, I do have a, a problem with the thyroid. Right. Um, and I've got rheumatoid arthritis. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. And can you tell me a bit more about your rheumatoid arthritis in terms of um, treatments? So. Well, it's, it seems pretty much under, under control, actually. Okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah, I've got my medication and that seems, that seems to be absolutely fine. Okay, that's good yeah. to hear. Yeah. Um, do you have any problems with your heart? Um, no, I don't, no. no. Okay, no. right. Um, and um, do you have any high blood pressure? No, or not that I'm aware of. Diabetes no. or high no. cholesterol? No, 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 no. Okay. no. Right. And no problems with your lungs in the past? No, no. no. Okay. 
Uh, and what medications do you take at this point? Um, I've just brought me here. Um, so here we go. So we've got the... Uh, is it omeprazole? Oh, I can't read these things. Yes, omeprazole, uh, yeah. yeah. That's the thing, mm -hmm. yeah. So I have that um, just like once a day. Yeah. And then the ibuprofen. Okay. And then the yeah, methotrexate, and that's for me, arthritis. Right. That's for rheumatoid arthritis, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And do you have any allergies to any medication? Um, no. You don't? Okay. No. Um, and um, is there anything that runs in the family? Um. Well, that's what, you know, was mm. concerning me a bit. It's like the fact my dad did die from a, a heart oh, attack. Right. So that, that. that's a bit troubling. Um, but my, my sister had, um, she had a similar problem mm. um, last last year. And it oh. turns out that she had blood clots oh, in, right. her, in her lungs. Mm. Oh, I see. Okay. And, yeah. and was that so it was investigated in terms of... Well, actually, it was after her operation. Oh, I see. Um, okay. So luckily, she was in hospital anyway. So right. they, they caught that mm. really easily and quickly. I see. Um, but I know that she, you know, that she had ch chest pains. It sounds right. a bit like mine. Oh, I see. Um, but okay. it was, it, that got sorted. So yeah. we'll be sure to consider that when we do our test as well. Yeah. So hopefully we'll yeah. find out if it is that. Yeah. Um, just to go back to your father, can I ask you, how old was he when he had the heart attack? Um, 89. 89, I yeah. see. Okay. So it was a good old age. Right. But it was, you know, just the worry that does it ruin the family yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. So certainly a very valid concern yeah, yeah. Um, and just a, a few more questions if that's okay just so with course, regards to your yeah. um, lifestyle so um, at the moment are you working yes I am yes yeah, I am right. okay. yeah 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 I'm uh, working a bank okay yeah. right um, and then who do you live with at home uh, just my husband husband okay yeah yeah and normally yeah. you're able to look after yourself with no problems oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 I was okay. gonna say usually I'm kind of really you know quite quite lively usually um, but I mean, this is, yeah, this is frightening a bit. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So we'll yeah. get to the bottom of it as soon as we can. Yeah. And just a few questions about your lifestyle, if that's all yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so, uh, do you smoke? No, never. Oh, okay. No, no. Um, and do you drink alcohol? Yeah, yeah, every now and again I do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And can you tell me roughly how much you would drink in a week? Um, not a lot. I'd say maybe about two or three glasses. Of a week. I see. Of uh, a wine. Of wine. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And that's usually with a meal. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, and we ask everyone this, but so do you take any recreational drugs at all? Oh no. 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 Okay. Right. So, did you have any particular ideas about what's going on? I don't know really. I mm. mean, initially I thought maybe I just like pulled something, mm. um, but I think this is like the pain's too bad for that. I see. Right. Yeah. And is there anything particularly you're concerned about? Well, yeah, it's uh, it's the fact that you know my dad died of a heart attack. Yeah. It's that's the the obvious thing that's in my head is yeah. oh my god, does it run the family? Absolutely. Yeah. So we'll, we'll try and get you an answer as soon as we can once we do our test. Okay. Yeah, right. I'm a sister as well, obviously, yeah. with what happened with her. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So again, we will look into that as well for you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So yeah. um, what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, if you don't mind, I'd like to examine you. Um, okay. And then afterwards, uh, what I'd like to do is I'm going to do some tests, um, okay. looking at your heart and also yeah. looking at your lungs. Yeah. Uh, and then once we do those tests, uh, we'll come back and we'll have a chat about what we should do going forward, okay. if that's all right. Um, great. Is there anything else you want to ask? Um, no, I think that's everything. I'm just, I'm just glad to be here to get properly checked out. Okay, great. Right, so I'll yeah. come back and see you shortly then, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. My top differential is costochondritis. Other important differentials include acute coronary syndrome, pericarditis, pulmonary embolism, pneumothorax, and pneumonia. To proceed, I will perform a full cardiovascular and respiratory examination. Subsequently, I will perform an electrocardiogram, blood tests including full blood count, renal profile, C-reactive protein, serial troponins, and D-dimer. I would also perform a chest x-ray. To manage costochondritis, I would reassure the patient of the self-limiting nature of the condition and discharge her with paracetamol and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs.